what's up guys it's your girl Deji D and today I have a video this video is in partnership with a whole bunch of other people so be sure to check out my social medias they'll be linked in the description box below so without further ado we're going to just be doing this get ready with me zoom first day of school this is me 0 0.11111% of the time no 0 0.00001% of the time because the other percent of the time I'm looking like this so yes if you would like to see this be sure to keep on watching it's the voiceover for me yes so first we're gonna go ahead and sharpen our eyebrow pencil you better not go to class with no crunchy eyebrows you need to come closer let's go closer let's go closer I'm just gonna take this dark brown eye pencil and just kind of start to shape out the shape of my eyebrows like you know I don't want to like get real super technical just filling your bald eyebrows okay it's not know but I'm just filling in my bald non-existent eyebrows and then we're just gonna go ahead and do that to the other side okay now we're done as you all can see I'm just taking this concealer this is the LA girl pro concealer I'm using the shade cool tan and I'm just gonna go ahead and carve out my brows and this is gonna make your brows nice and sharp you know that guy that you've been seeing on that zoom call not me i don't be seeing no guys you know because i be focused on the, on the books but um you know you want to make sure everybody in your class when you cut that camera on you want them attention to be on your eyebrows not on the back you know your your room decor we don't care about the room decor they need to focus on the eyebrows i mean they really need to focus on the the class assignment but if they gonna pay attention to your face since they want the camera on the least thing that you could show them is your good eyebrows okay so make sure you carve them out make them look nice and smooth another thing I like to do is apply that same concealer to like kind of prime my eyelid for the eyeshadow as well as like if, even if you don't want to add any eyeshadow I do this all the time just to kind of cover up and mask my dark circles on my eyes because if you're up and being a good scholar, doing your homework, working on your grind, making videos, popping out this content, you know, the whole nine, boss chick, you're going to be up a little bit or you might just have naturally dark, darker circles on your eyes. You know, that's cool too. We don't discriminate over here. Not on this channel, not with my dark circles. So I just like to apply that concealer right on top of my eyelids. Now I'm just going to take this hydrating primer. This one is from e.l.f. And this is just really going to like get your skin all prepped and ready for your foundation. Make sure you get this all over your face. Next, I'm just going to use my foundation. I'm using the Kits Pro Touch foundation. Um, I really love this formula. If you like a, looking for a drugstore, pretty good drugstore formula, go ahead and check this one out. I definitely recommend. It's so light and airy and dewy, but you could build it up and make it super full coverage. I just really, really like this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply my foundation using my e.l.f. sponge and make sure that it is damp so it can blend and bounce on your face easy. Now next, back of going on to that same topic of covering up those dark circles. This is just going to brighten up our face. So we're just going to go ahead and use our concealer to highlight all those high points on our face, which are going to be under our eyes, right underneath our nose, under our chin, our forehead. You just really want to brighten up these areas, make them nice, make them pop because your foundation just made your face like so flat you want to kind of add those dimensions back so that's why you highlight and contour so we're just going to use that same cool tan well that's what i'm using you know use your shade don't don't be out here black fishing and don't be out here making yourself a ghost you want to use your shade <laughs> but anyways um we're just going to brighten up our face and i like to use the same beauty sponge for the whole face one face one tool <laughs> or as less tools as possible but enough talking let's just blend you know you need to make sure you blend i see you i see you watching a tutorial blend more <laughs> So 
So once you just beat your face up, it's like, no, nah, but once you just make sure that you blend all of that together, uh, it's time for us to set our face. I'm going to use my Maybelline Fit Me Set Me Powder. <laughs> Maybelline Fit Me Set Me Powder. Ciao. Anyways, so I'm going to just use my Maybelline Fit Me Powder and go ahead and just set those parts of my face um you see i'm going like real light and then i kind of like do too much so you know apply as much as needed or as much as wanted i kind of applied it as much as needed for today tomorrow the next day after that and them days and them days after that <laughs> i'm so like y'all when i tell you all i do is think about tiktoks like that's my crazy addiction but yeah Okay, so boom, in the beginning of this video, I told you all that this was a partnership with several other videos. I did a, a tutorial with She Is Lash as well as her campus. So I kept the eyeshadow look exclusive for my YouTube fam. So comment an emoji, a pink heart emoji, if you all are exclusively watching this from YouTube because I wanted to say something for y'all. So I'm gonna go into my Be Perfect Cosmetics Carnival XL Pro Palette. That's a super long name that I'm not sure was necessarily needed to be said. But I'm gonna go ahead and use the shade Intuition, which is basically this dark smoky brown that you all see. And this is gonna help me achieve that nice transition shade for this beautiful soft glam look that we're about to do. Now that that's done, I'm going to go back into that palette, use this shade basic using a flat brush and apply that all over my lid and start to blend that all together. This is what's basically going to brighten up that eye. To really bring that look and smoke it out, I'm going to use this black shade, which is called Lights Out, and use this kind of blending brush, but it's kind of more small and precise, and start to blend that out. And after I'm done that, I'm going to kind of diffuse it by mixing basic again, and just really blending that out, which you all are about to see. And this is what really adds that definition to my eye, creates that really pretty shape. I love this so much, and I'm going to start doing more looks like this, so be stay tuned for that <laughs> let me know if y'all want to see more tutorials like that the last shade that i'm using i'm just applying to kind of like the inner corner of that that lid and down to my um, inner corner a little bit it's called inspire and it's just this really pretty brown kind of like brownish silverish shimmer um and i just like that so much it's really pretty and it makes the eyes pop it's not too gold which is why i like it a lot and yeah i kind of just dragged that down and after i was done that i went ahead and smoked out my waterline as well as added this brown eyeliner to my waterline as well just to kind of really smoke up that look And of course, to finish off the eyes, I went ahead and added some dark black mascara as well as eyeliner and put on these She Is Lash lashes. Now that we're done and we went past the eyes, we're gonna go ahead and highlight so you could be the bombest, shiniest, glowiest, prettiest, you know, bring that melanin, that black girl magic on our HBCU campus. Yes, go HBCU queen, go black girl magic. Yes, we're going to bring that melanin popping through that foundation, concealer, bronzer, contour, all of that stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply this highlighter so we can be, you know, the star of the show. We might just get an A plus with this highlight because he's, he's the, your professor's just going to see how glowy you are. It's like, nah, 
but just go ahead and apply that highlight for my lips we're going to be keeping it real cute i'm going to take this dark brown liner and then i'm just going to go ahead and apply my favorite nude lip for all of the details on all of the products that I'm using, feel free to check out my YouTube channel. The full tutorial will be uploaded on there. So yes, be sure to check that out. And yeah, thank you all so much for watching my video. Whether you're watching this on YouTube or the Her Campus channel, be sure to follow Her Campus and subscribe to my channel wherever you at. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on all my social medias. They'll be linked in the description box below as well as up here on the screen. And I love you all so much. Bye. I got I got class. I got class in like 30 minutes. So they gonna see this beat. I'm coming to I'm cutting the camera on a day. <laughs>